How's it going everyone? It's Sam. The market is looking pretty good right now. Over the last couple months, we've seen a lot of bullish momentum with Bitcoin now over $30,000. I want to show you some people that are stacking like crazy right now, buying up Bitcoin whenever they can. I also want to talk to you about what's coming in seven days. We do have a big event coming up and I want to show you something that's really cool and uh, something that I think could be good for one of my stocks. If you don't mind, hit the subscribe button underneath the video, turn on that bell notification so you can get future videos just like this. If you want to know what I'm buying and selling, you can check out the link underneath the video to the Patreon. Now, crypto, like I said, doing pretty well. Bitcoin still holding above 30,000 at a time where there's a lot of uncertainty in the overall market, right? A lot of people feeling like we're going right back to a bull run. A lot of people feeling like, no, we're extremely overvalued, whether it's crypto or stocks, and that we're bound for a recession. But we continue to pay attention to this market, continue to stack for the long term. And that has been a great thing to do over the last year because Bitcoin is up 100% from the bottom, basically. A lot of NASDAQ stocks are, down, are up a lot as well. Now, we do have a big catalyst coming in the next seven days. On July 12th at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, we have the next CPI print. Now, the expectation is that we're going to go down to about 3.2%. True inflation shows we have had about the lowest inflation over the last couple of days that we've seen in years. 2.22%. That's also the lowest for the UK, too, at 1111 which obviously inflation coming down is great for markets, less of a chance of future rate hikes. But the Cleveland Fed, who has done a pretty good job of predicting future CPI prints, PPI prints, PCE prints, uh, they have posted that they think we're going to go down to 3.22% in June and then actually tick up in July. Same thing, whether you're looking at CPI or PCE, they think we're actually going to go up 0.4%. And on core, they think 0.3% for core PCE and 0.11% for core CPI. So be ready because it's not crazy to think that we could see a pullback in the market at that point. I think that'd be probably where Bitcoin dominance moves up even further. We're around 0.51 or 51% right now, 52%. But I would not be surprised if we saw like a 10 or 20% pullback to see Bitcoin dominance go up to 54, 55, 56%. Now, I'm not saying we'll necessarily get that. And long term, I'm really bullish. But we have moved up pretty quickly. So be ready because in a pre having year, we typically see longs get racked, we see shorts get racked. And this year it has been pretty bullish so far. Now, the expectation is after the CPI, we'll get other inflation numbers too, but uh, uh, towards the end of the month, we're expecting about an 85% chance of a 25 basis point hike. I would not be surprised to see that happen either. So one thing I've been saying over the last couple of years is cash is really important in this kind of market, and I still think it's important now. Now, you want to be careful not to hold on to cash too long where you start seeing rates come down and then the market races up at the same time and yeah you held out and you got a five percent interest rate but now it's four percent and everything else is 20 percent more expensive you want to be careful that you're not on the wrong side of that so keep on looking for opportunities in this market now some people that are taking advantage of opportunities are shrimp. People with less than one Bitcoin, they're stacking sats at a rate of 33.8 thousand Bitcoin per month. Issuance is about 27 thousand Bitcoin per month. For every new coin, shrimps are taking 1.25 off the market. Crazy conviction. That's great to see people that have less than one Bitcoin want to continue adding because they realize that this is probably one of their best ways to get wealthy over the long term. Now, of course, you want to make sure you're diversifying, but this is encouraging to see. This is good to see people continuing to dollar cross average throughout the bear market. And some people that continue to buy are the large investors. Over the last two weeks, we saw pretty large inflows. The two weeks ago period, we saw the largest inflow year to date and more and then we just saw another 130 million flow in most going into bitcoin uh some going into ethereum and it's actually 124.7 million flowing in 
some coming out of multi-asset, a little bit going into Litecoin, a little bit going into XRP and Cardano too. So if you're investing in those, that's good news. A little bit coming out of Solana and a little bit coming out of short Bitcoin. So about a million dollars coming out of short Bitcoin is actually a positive thing. It's like two, it's like a change of $2 million basically. So instead of negative 0.9, you actually get plus 0.9. So uh, a couple more million going in there. So good news for investors, obviously, these are delayed. I feel like whenever institutional investors put money in or pull money out of this market, it's always looking back. We had already moved up uh, and then they're trying to get in on it. They're trying not to be too late to the narrative and then they pile more money in, but they're never on the right side of that trade. I feel like um, when we saw the market fall down, right, they were pulling money out of the market instead of piling it in, which is what they should be doing. We have some news from Binance Australia, which I want to cover. But first, I want to thank Wall Street Memes. Now, today's video is brought to you by today's show sponsor, Wall Street Memes. Now, this is a page that has been around since 2019. They have 255,000 followers over on Twitter. And they just recently announced that they are going to have this pre-sale, a new token, the Wall Street Memes token. They've been able to raise $12.72 million since last month when they started this, and they're looking to raise a little bit more. Now, at today's price, you can buy one Wall Street Memes token for 3.1 cents. This price is going to raise to 3.37 cents by the end of the pre-sale. They are going to have a huge airdrop for community members worth $50,000 in the Wall Street Memes token split between five different people. To participate in the airdrop, community members must complete several tasks, such as following the Wall Street Memes social channels. I'll leave links to this underneath the video. As always, do your own research. This project does not take themselves super seriously. They are a meme page, for example. So always do your own research, and let's get back to the video. So Binance offices in Australia reportedly searched by a local regulator. This is interesting. This came yesterday. They're searched yesterday. Uh, but this is after they've already been cracking down kind of in Australia. Some of the big banks have made it impossible to get money in or out of Binance. Uh, and they're being cut off. They're, they're also being searched in other countries too. So I'd be careful. As I've said a lot, if you have any kind of cryptocurrency on Binance or Binance US, I'd probably take it off. I had a lot of my crypto. Uh, I had been doing a lot of my trading through Binance US, but all their all their uh, crypto prices are off significantly. Like Bitcoin's 29,000 USDT or USDC, they're like 3% off as well too. So I'd be careful of anything like that if you haven't already taken your crypto off. It seems like they're facing a lot of problems. They're doing an all hands meeting in Dubai too. So be careful out there. I'm not trying to spread fear, uncertainty, and doubt, but I, I just don't see the point in using it at this point with all this uh, uncertainty. Now I want to cover something that's a little bit different, but something I think is really cool. So if you haven't already noticed, or if you haven't seen this online, this is a massive sphere that is in Vegas. They've been building this for five years. I was actually in Vegas when they were building this, and look how cool this building is. If you're just listening to the audio, it's this massive uh, 19,000 seat building, uh, and on the outside, they have a ton of panels, like LEDs, and I have some information on here. It's 366 feet tall, 516 feet wide at the broadest point. They have uh, the capacity for 20,000 people. It has 10,000 uh, seats with haptic technology, too, so uh, like moves and stuff like that. They have the largest and highest resolution LED screen in the world. It features 164 speakers. Um, it It's covering 160,000 square feet, which is 3.7 acres of these screens. And they're, uh, they're around a sphere too, so it looks crazy. Uh, and they ha they've been showing a lot of different pictures. This is a fireworks display from it as well. The reason I bring this up is because I'm not just investing in crypto. I'm investing in the stock market too. And... While I'm not invested in this building per se, I do own a company that owns the land it's on, Vici. And 
I think things like this, coming to Vegas, just continue to make Vegas such an interesting place to visit. And this has been getting a ton of attention, a ton of views, uh, and a lot of people will be excited to go see it or want to go see this kind of thing and want to go gamble, want to go see different events and continues to go to Vegas. So if you're looking for an interesting dividend play out there, I realize that's very different than cryptocurrency, but it does pay about a 5% dividend yield and it has been growing pretty quickly. I believe they also have their earnings report coming up here pretty soon. So they are a stock that I've been pretty aggressively buying uh, every single week. And I will continue to do so because I think they are a little bit undervalued with so many people fearful of commercial real estate. Let me know your thoughts on that underneath the video and let me know your thoughts on the crypto market though as well. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you in the next.